everybody. Okay, so it is time for Art Journal Tuesday. And today, our theme is going to be monochromatic. monochromatic. Um, I'm getting better. I uh, still have a little bit of sinus issues. And I still sound a little bit, a little bit froggy. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully it's not too annoying. Um, monochromatic, if you don't know, and I'm going to drink all the way through this, so y'all just excuse me. Uh, monochromatic means you only use one color. But, um, black and white aren't colors, right? So, you can use black, white, shades of gray, and then any one color. Um, I haven't decided on my color, but I don't want to spend all day drawing. Which is normally what would happen when I was doing a page like this. Um, I'm going to quickly, while we're talking, I'm going to gesso because I've got some bleed through over here. Um, so I think I'm going to use a lot, pardon me, Lord, of, um, I think I'm going to use a lot of stamps. So I grabbed some stamps that all kind of went together. They're kind of old, um, old world travel is kind of what I grabbed. <clears throat> And so what I was thinking was that I would stamp some of them directly on here, stamp some of them to, um, on other paper to collage onto here. So I get my layers, um, but I get my layers through collage since I can't have my layers through colors. So that's my thought. Now we all know my thoughts and my actions in the long run don't always go hand in hand, but we're going to see how it goes. Um, actually, I should have waited to put those on here. I want to get all the way to this edge. So we, I'm going to hit the pause, and I'm going to finish gesso with this. I'm going to dry it, and hopefully I will remember to turn the camera back on. You'll know who I am. Hang on. All right, while we were paused, I did make a few decisions. So let me change your camera angle just a little so you can see that I have picked up a lot of stuff. I decided my colors were gonna be red, black, and white. So anything and everything that was red, uh, this is tulip glitter, what do they call this stuff? Dimensional fabric paint. Uh, this is black puff paint, black um, mister, um, a red and black feather that sticks on, uh, red dilutions paint, red stays on, black stays on, mm -mm. red Bombay ink, um, this is that uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's, in my media paint, titanium white, carbon black, a Canadian, okay, red hue, cadium, I think is how you say it, cadmium, I don't know, anyway, this one. Uh, okay, let's do this. You still can't see it. All right, try, trust me. C A D M I U N. All right, cadmium. Um, I got some acrylic glazing because I played with it the other day and I had fun. So I thought maybe. Um, my big black and white. Oh, my white's on. Lives on the right. Anyway, my big black and white paint pens that are um. These are those Montana pens you can fill with any color you want. Love these. I got a glue stick because I am gonna, oops, I am going to um, be doing some gluing. Uh, I got my circle because we all know I like painting with circles. And then every red or black pen or pencil I could find. Um, colored pencils, sta uh, stablios, gel pens, paint pens, sharpies. All right, um, as far as, let's go back down, as far as this, I told you I had picked her out um, as my image. She's a stamp and then die cut set, so I went on and stamped several of each. So if I mess up, I always do at least three in case I mess up. Um, maybe I don't mess up as much as me, but I mess up. So I've got those already ready to go. And then, like I said, I picked up some other coordinating sets. Um, this is Graphic 45. I think the name of it's come away with me. Um, it doesn't really say. 
I love these vintage stamps, though. And then here's another um, Graphic 45 set. And again, it doesn't say, uh, but it's a, it's a vintage travel, Bon Voyage, Lookout World, a steamer ship, um, London and Western, I don't know, some kind of ticket. Uh, this one's all um, travel, like passport stamps. And then just my background stamps and stencils. All right. Having said all that, let's see what we do with this now. Make sure that we're in frame here. There we go. All right. Um, <clears throat> so I made enough of a plan to grab some stuff, but I don't really have a plan as far as where we're going. Um, And since I'm thinking about playing with my modeling place, with my uh, glaze, let's put some dimension on here with the modeling paste. And let's get, <clears throat> let's get this, my trusty circles. Um, I have the little one in here, but I think it's got um, sprays on it, uh, delusion sprays, and it'll rehydrate. This has got paint. It shouldn't. We'll find out together. All right, and then, all right, so let's just do some circles, like at my corners and stuff, just so I've got some, some dimension here. Um, nothing real heavy duty or fancy or overly planned. That's one thing this page is not overly planned. But I just felt like playing because um, I am feeling a little better and I thought this would be a good way to do that. All right, so. There we go. Now that I'm gonna pick it up, I've got these partials. And so I'm just gonna scrape them back off. All right, and. Um, let's do it again here. You know, let's just do this this tip and this tip. I like this. I don't want to get it in the one I just did. And you probably can't see because I'm holding that up. But I'm doing the same thing I did over there. I don't care if they're perfect. Um, I just want, basically, I just want something for that glaze to catch in. So that's basically all I'm doing at this point. All right, pick it up, and I've got this partial row here. I'm just gonna scrape that off. All right, um, down here. Everything that went over onto the next page is going to come off. And then this that went off, my stencil is going to come off. And oh, there we go. Like that. And I'm doing this corner down here. I'm going to take my paper clip off for right this second and do. This corner right here. Since I am going to go monochromatic, I think this will give me a little more interest um, by having some depth here and there. All right. Take those off. That went off the page. And see how some of these have little holes in them. I'm okay with that. Um, I do want to scrape as much as this. I'm just going to set this aside to dry. If it destroys it because it's cardboard, I don't care. I'll just cut another one. Um, although I can't really say I don't care because y'all know how much I love this stencil. Um, but yeah, I can easily cut another one. 
And I probably need more sequins anyway. All right, drop that in the water. All right, I'm gonna hit the pause while I dry this. So you don't have to watch. Be right back. All right, so this is all dry now. And in an attempt, let me scoop this over so you can see both sides. In an attempt to keep this page clean, because this is gonna be another day, I've taken um, just some plain washi that I don't really like so much. Um, put it down, because I don't mind wasting it. Put it on here to protect that seam. And I'm putting my pa palette paper here. Um, hopefully that will contain at least a little bit of my mess. All right, before I start painting though, I think I want to go in and do my first layer of stamps. And I think I want this to be my first layer. And I'm going to do it unblocked because I um, don't want my stamps to be perfect. And I'm going to do it in black. And I'm not really worrying about how much ink I get on here um, or anything else. Because again, I don't want this to be perfect. And I'm just going to kind of do this. Um, you know, just get me some texture on here. You may see what they are. You may not see what they are. Um, Really, I don't really have a plan as per normal. I just want some texture on here. I like this color. And I just want to get rid of some of this white that's down here. Okay. Um, All right, that's pretty good. Um, this is a little fine, isn't it? Let's just come up from up there. Okay. <clears throat> um, you know, I don't know how much red will show up, but let's do some stamping in red too, just so we don't just have one thing down there. Uh, and it may show, and it may not. But let's just take. Let's take this. This is a tried and true. It's a unity stamp, uh, but it's just numbers. And I, I like it for backgroundy. So let's just, um, let's just get some of this in there. And just see. And some of this will be visible. Some of this may not. Um, you never know. But hey, it's fun. All right, that's pretty good. Gets me a little bit of red here and there. And... Some of the black stuff. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me go one more time. I have a script set up with this other stuff I have in here. Um, oh, it is. It's six letters. Let's do this, but let's do it in black. I think I'm just wanting to break up some of this white. I don't think this one isn't. I think this is all dried up. And I can't find my wreath, though. Um, I've got to finish getting this new art space organized. Because I can't find a lot of stuff that I know I have. Um... And that would have been a real good thing to do this weekend, but I didn't. You know what? I'm going to move some of these right over my bubbles, too. Because my bubbles are looking way too clean. Okay. Uh, I like that from folks really good. Nothing's really jumping out and saying what it is. Um, all right. So as far as what we're going to do now, 
I think I'm going to do with black and white what we did the other day on um, my Inspiration Wednesday page because I really liked it, um, but it wasn't black. So y'all, I may totally just be about to destroy my page. We'll find out together. Um, so, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some red. All right. And some water and fill this out with a lot. Okay. And then I'm just going to take it and put it on here. And mainly on the corners, but not just on the corners. So we want to get it everywhere that there's dimension. So I'm just going to put a little through the center too because I don't want it to be just like there and then gone. All right, and then I need my baby wipes. And I'm just going to wipe it back up. Noticing that I am making a mess over here. So in just one second, as soon as I get as much of this mess up as I can, I need to grab it. I should have done this to start with. Grab my little sketch paper and put it underneath. Because I'm making a mess of the page below. Alright, now then let's see if that helps any. I like it. Okay. And because this is so runny, I'm going to go in and wipe it up too. Because I don't want to end up putting my arm in it in 30 seconds because it would still be wet. All right. I'm going to give y'all a pause while I dry this. And then we'll try the black, which may be a huge mistake. <laughs> all right, hold the hold, please. Okay, all dry. And this is where it gets scary because I am loving this page, and I may be about to destroy it, uh, which is always scary. Uh, so everybody, hold their breath and their mouth just right, and all that good stuff, that I don't mess this up. But I really want the contrast. Um, and I'm really, I'm, I'm still I'm sitting here debating whether I want to cut the black with white so that it's not completely black and not quite so scary. But, oh. and you know what? I think I'm going to, I think I don't want it completely black. Oh, I didn't shake that one up. titanium white on it yet. Alright, so my black and my white and some glazing. I don't know if this is on camera or not. Let me look. But I'm just pouring one on top. It is. One on top of the other, one on top of the other. Alright, and let's see what we get. Let's mix this all up. And <clears throat> Okay. Oh, scariness, scariness. Ooh, I like the color though. All right. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? Okay. 
there's always, for me at least, this one point in every page where it's terrifying because I'm loving it. And this is that point on this page. Because, uh, yeah, I'm loving it. Um, and I may be destroying it. We'll find out in a minute. Right, and I'm kind of going around my edges because I want it everywhere that there's um, and then a little bit in the middle. All right, and let's move. Well, let's not move that just quite yet. So let's mop it up because I forgot it's also protecting my other page. So let's mop that up. So I don't put my hand in it. A lot of stuff I do is to protect myself from myself. I'm pretty messy when I paint because I get into what I'm doing and I kind of forget everything else around me. All right, so this will just let it sit for a minute. Um, I don't want to let it sit for very long because I'm worried about how strong it's going to be anyway with it being such a dark color. My power of supplies just fell if you heard something. Okay, here we go. And the first thing I think I need to do is this. Because I don't want to get it on the other page. Maybe I didn't put enough glazing in there. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah. I did. I did. It's gonna work. I just have to get a clean one again. Oh, y'all, I think this looks really good. Um, this looks really good. I was really nervous. Oh, one of my, one of my dots is coming up. That's all right. We'll let him. All right. Um, one more to kind of clean up my surrounding areas and then let's put this out from over here because I'm probably edging the page underneath. Mm -mm. And take some of this right here in this big middle. Oh y'all I think that looks good. I like it. Okay I'm gonna hit pause again um, as soon as I get some of this off my hands. So I don't put it on my camera, uh, dry it. And I'm also going to go on and pull up this because no, I'm better not. I better not pull that up just yet. Cause I'm not sure what I'm doing next. All right. So I'm going to pause and figure out what I'm going to go from here. All right. Be right back y'all. Oh, wait. Well, um, before I do that, let me adjust that camera angle. All right. Now I'm going to pause. Okay. I'll dry and I kind of have, somewhat of a plan. Um, we'll see how long I stick to it. I want to do one more layer of background before I um, keep going. I've got these circles, but I realize I don't have circles anywhere else. And I have my little circle and my things, and I love doing that. So um, we're going to do that. And so it's pretty simple. I have one side that I do white on, one side that I do black on. This is just an empty washi tape holder. And I just take my marker, swirl around, and then, oh, and prep my marker. 
Actually, this black one's getting pretty empty, so it may not work. I may have to actually um, get a, yeah, it's pretty empty. I may need to refill it, but we'll try. Okay, that is my preferred way of doing it, but this black is completely empty. So, I'll refill it later. But until then, we'll do it the old-fashioned way, um, which is just put a little black on the paper, on the paper, and load it with my finger. I just like doing it the other way because um, then I don't have any mess. And I do them in threes um, because I like threes. <laughs> no secret uh, agenda there. Okay, do I clean me up? <clears throat> and I'm gonna go in and wipe this off because I'm not gonna wipe. I'm gonna go in and do the other side. I should, should, um, let that dry and then come back with the other, with the white. See, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Because the white's full. Uh, the black I've been using a lot longer. It was the first one of these Montana, um, that is what these are, right? Montana? Yeah. These first Montana markers that I got with that black one. So I've been using it a lot longer than I have the white one. So that'll be pretty good. Make sure it's flowing. Oh, yeah. It, and the last thing I use is the rubbers. Yeah, what I use it on for something furry I'll be in. All right, so had the black one worked, we would have just done that and then Well, man, there's plenty of paint in here. Let me do it from the side. I promise y'all, I do this all the time, but you'd go to do something on the camera. There it went, and it doesn't work all of a sudden. And you can see the black's not picking up, so it's dry enough. I'll just do them in the same order I did the black, so that each one has enough, or has as much time, not enough, as possible to get at least tacky. All right, um, <clears throat> so I think I'm also going to go in and do my paint splatters. All right, and I do that with these or with my other pen. Um, I think I can get this one juicy enough to. And I want to do these now instead of at the end where I normally would because I'm going to put that focal point on here. And um, I don't want to... Um, Get it all over her. I do want her to be in the complete foreground. I may add a few splatters 
um, afterwards just to kind of tie her in. But I want the bulk of them to already be down. All right, since that other one is empty, uh, we'll use, no, that one's pretty empty too. All right, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way too. I'm using a lot of stuff the old fashioned way today. All right, paintbrush. Oh, that dry paint's already dried. Paint, water. Too wet. There we go. All right. So I'm going to dry all this up and I'll be back. All right, y'all, all dry, but I have to show y'all this. So we're going to try and zoom in if at all possible. All right. Can y'all see? where I did the black splatters. You know, I said I had way too much water when I did it. I love that, y'all. It's like it's, it's got like black water stains on it now uh, where they spread out. So if you want this kind of look, which I love, do your splatters, but do them way, way too watery. Um, I love that. So I'm going to have to remember that. That was a, that was a good oops. All right, let's go back out. All right, so I think that's my background done. Um, <clears throat> while it was while I was drying it and giving it a second to cool down and all that good stuff, I did take my black and my red and color her a little bit because she was just so stark against the background. But now that I've got the extra white in there, I think she looks fine even though she's on there. Um, and I picked my sentiment that I want to put on there. It says, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page, St. Augustine. I think I want to put it like this with her sitting on it like that. And then my black and red feather. She's got a feather in her hat on the stamp. I think I'm just going to replace the feather. Um, and then I may do some more stamping around her because we've got great stuff in here like Passport, uh, Lookout World, Bon Voyage, a ticket, the definition for Wanderlust. Um... So we may do some more stamping around her. But the first thing I've got to decide is, do I want to stamp this, my main quote, directly on my page where it's got to compete with the background? Or do I want to stamp it on paper where it won't? And then I can, um, you know, do something for the paper so it's not quite so white. And I'm really, I'm really feeling stamp it on paper so it stands out like she does. So, let me grab some paper. All right, and also that way if I miss down, I haven't messed anything up. All right, so let me get some paper out here. And, oh, I went to take this off, and it started pulling the top layer of the paper off, even though it's washy, and I stuck it to my shirt before I stuck it down so that it wouldn't be completely sticky. So, um, I don't know who this washi is by, um, but be careful when you use it for um, anything other than actual permanence, because it's going to be permanent. I got it in a pack, and it had red, yellow, and brown, I think. So, and I think I got it at Tuesday morning, which means anyone could have sold it. All right, um, so let's do this. Let's start with stamping my sentiment. <clears throat> And if you didn't know what I was doing it, um, when I go to stamp something and I want a good stamp, uh, I ink it up, then I blow hot air on it, my, your hot breath on it, and then I hold it uh, for at least the count of 20 with pressure. And I'm not counting, so I've probably gotten to 20. <laughs> I actually do normally count. Oh, and see, it makes a great stamp. 
All right, and then I've got this border, and I think what I want to do is do it. Um, oh, that didn't stick. Is do it underneath and on top of to kind of frame in my stamp. I mean my my quote. All right, so same thing. Ink it up real good. And then, excuse my head if it's in the way, but I want to make sure I get this in the right place. All right, and then we do it again on top. All right, um, I want this square, and I'm not the best at actually cutting things square, so we're going to get a little help from this. And if I'm off, I'm just, uh, so you'll probably, well, I mean, you can almost see what I'm doing, but I'm just cutting it into a nice square. It's a nice square. All right, um, that being said, though, I don't want it completely square, so... Somewhere down here is my corner jumper. And I'm, I'm doing it where it's almost flat so that I get some of these um, scrapey bleed overs because I don't want it to look new and clean. I want it to look a little worn. So you see where it's just barely dragging across the flat of the page before it hits the edge. There. All right. And then where's my red pencil? 
pixel. We'll do these flowers. In the square. Right there. I'm trying to give things a lot of detail because I did go monochromatic. And so I think the more... Oh, did I unpause? I did. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Um, the more detailed it is, the better I think it's going to look. Just going to try to kind of really play that up. All right, so before I glue it down, decision time. Okay, ah, I have an idea. I wanted to have a little more oomph. Okay. So, it's white, <laughs> powdered angels, glimmer mist, and this is the opalescent. It's white, y'all. All right, let me move this out of the way because I don't want to accidentally spray it. And let me move my feather for the same reason. I don't want to accidentally spray it. And I'm going to do her too. Okay, so um, <laughs> I'm going to have to dry these. Yeah, they're curling up really bad. Let me spray the other side. Maybe it'll uncurl it a little bit. Um, that's a Ginny Belly trick, by the way. Um, if your paper starts to curl up on one side, whatever you did to it, and she says just do it to the other side and it should straighten out. And da 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 da, it did. Okay, so I'm glimmery misting this up like nobody's business. Um, this is opalescence, so it will just give it a shimmer. Uh, on camera, you probably won't be able to tell, but in person, it's just gonna be like, Sparkly. Okay, so I'm going to pause y'all again while I draw all this up. And then I think we're going to stamp a couple of those other images around or those other phrases around the edge of my page, glue them down, and we'll be done. All right? And unless I get, you know, where I don't want to stop. All right, I'm putting you on hold again. All right, so they're all dry. And here, let me do them in the light and see if you can see. See how glittery that is? Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue them down now. Um, let me see. And I threw away my drop paper. Because I had glitter mist everywhere on it. And I didn't want to try and get it all dry. Let me just get a new one. All right. So let's glue these down. And... Run them and see where we go from here. <clears throat> so I want to make sure to get all this to the edge. And I'm not using anything fancy. I'm using Elmer School glue that goes on purple and dries clear. Um, I think I got it there. Let's see about there. Get out her. on it but it's above my so about there yeah um, and I didn't grab my thing so I'll just use the bottom of this to get it flat I didn't grab my scraper that I normally do this with so yeah the bottom of the table works just as well Right now, let's put her on. Oh, y'all are loving this page. Um, and I love how the background turns out. I think that's what I really love about it, I think, is that background. Because it just really... Oh, there's a 
we go with the lock of it, that's it. It just really um, makes it pop. Alright, my glue. I go through a ton of that sketch paper as my drop paper. Um, and I go through a ton of it. But I anyway, it's fairly cheap and it's easier to clean up. Okay, is she getting down? I think she is. Hot patches. All right, she is good and down. All right, um, I picked out the stamps I want to use. Wanderlust, a strong desire impulse to travel. Come away with me. Uh, this mimics these, so I thought maybe we could put them somewhere. Maybe passport, one voyage, lookout world, and this is like a boarding pass, first class boarding pass. Okay, so stays on. Mounting block. And let's start with Lookout World. I like that one. And these are going to be like half background, half foreground. They're going to be on top of everything else, but um, since I am not putting um, paper under them, they're not going to jump out as much as my main quote. I love this. Don't you love it when you're doing a page and it just really comes together for you? It just makes me so, oh, 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 we're sticking to the paint. There we went. <laughs> That'll happen sometimes when you do um, not completely dry paint um, and um, stays on. Yeah. All right, so there's that. Now the Bon Voyage. I like that one. Um, uh, let's put it here. Okay, um, Wanderlust. This one's really long. Not down there. I'm not a hundred percent sure you're going to be able to read it, but. You can still pretty much read it. Impulse is a little because of the black there, but you can figure out what it's supposed to say when you read the sentence. You, you can fill in impulse. Um, come away with me. <coughs> okay, we're gonna try um, another big block. Sorry, I kicked the camera. I just wanted to focus on you. Pretty much. I didn't. There, that's better. Maybe. Here, let's, uh, let's see if I can get her. Nothing like playing with the camera after I've been filming for 
an hour, or however long we're at, but we're pretty close to an hour, I bet, because I haven't fast forwarded anything or really done much of anything except dry off camera this stuff. Since this was right by the spine and this is the first pages, I'm just putting my hand underneath so that I get a good stamp. Oh, and it still didn't get a good stamp. Oh, I didn't also didn't breathe on them. Oh, well. Um, it's kind of almost there. Let's, uh, let's stamp the passport in the same place. <sighs> no. I moved it off of it when I tried to lift it. But it's there. Like I said, some of these are half foreground, half background. Um, actually, I think that's enough. I'm going to call that good. <clears throat> All right. And then, the, and then we're going to put that on there. But we're going to do that dead last. So we're going to take our China marker. And we're going to kind of do outlines of this just to give it a little depth There's the depth. Oh. Um, ceiling fans on why because I can't reach it to turn it off <laughs> it's directly over my table and I set up in the summer still and uh, have it on and now here it is winter and it's so directly over my table so I can't really get to it because well a because I'm short <laughs> and B because it's directly over my table all right that looks good I'll do the same thing right around her All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me clean my hands up. And then I think all I've got left to do is add my feather. I'm just kind of oh, make sure I'm in frame. I'm not because I moved it. Um, I'm just gonna look at it and see if there's anything else I wanted. To, oh, okay. This is something I forget to do every video, and then I do them after the video's off. Like here on this one, if you watch the video, um, I forgot to do the frame, and I did it after. Uh, this one I forgot to do a frame. I didn't do one. So let's, uh, let's do the frame real quick because, like I said, I always want one. And half the time I forget to do it until after the... And I just, I just like to do a frame when it's a single page just to kind of reinforce the fact that it is, in fact, a single page.
Alright, um, I don't want to do anything besides that. Let me see if I can just smudge it a little while it's wet. I think I can. If I do it fast enough. I don't want it quite so perfect. I want it to be a little smudgy. Alright, and then I'm also going to use my villain. <clears throat> and my edges. And just like I did on the others, I'm doing it kind of at a, um, well, it's at an angle. I want to say probably about a 45 degree angle. So that some of it's going to come up on the page and some of it's going to just get the, the edge. Um, all right. And there we go. And it just gives it a... Place for your eye to hit and bounce back in. All right. So my feather, and I think we're done. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is put it just like that. And it's a peel and stick, and I hope the peel and stick really works because I don't plan on doing anything else. I just have to get this teeny tiny. Backing off. There it goes. All right. And line it up just like I want it. Press it down. And there we go. <laughs> so there is my page for um, your. Uh, art journaling artist um, Tuesday art journal prompt. Um, if you've forgotten at the end, since the beginning of this, the prompt was monochromatic, and I did all of this with just red, black, and white, and I am extremely happy with it. Um, I hope you have fun. I hope you either, if you're in the group, post your work. I want to see y'all's art for a change. If you are not in the group, you are more than welcome to join. We're on Facebook, Art Journaling Artists, and um, join, share your, your version of Monochromatic. Until next week, I'll see you later. Bye.